we all know that the community is furious because of the new Unity installation fee. This new policy made open source game engines like Goodot start gaining a bunch of popularity. There are a lot of developers migrating to Goodot from Unity, as I explained in this video, link down below. So today we'll be analyzing how Goodot is planning to destroy Unity and be the worldwide used engine. And now let's start. So all the stuff that I'm gonna be saying in this video is based on Juan Ilyanitsky Twitter, okay? So you can check it yourself. So firstly, advice for Unity users moving to Goodot. And here, well, we have how some things are uh, named in Goodot. For example, the entities are nodes, components are also nodes, and also the scene settings, navigation, light maps, viewports are also nodes. But then the behaviors combine a node and a script, prefabs are scenes, scene composing scenes and scriptable objects are resources and obviously almost all is a node scene or resource etc also we can see here good uses also a different philosophy to help keep the engine simple yet powerful where other technologies focus on complex flexible features good does common use case tailor feature Corner cases, best possible level access to build feature yourself as you wish. As such, I would recommend new users to first get similar with how Goodot works and what the values behind it are. Yeah, because Goodot is such a different engine from Unity, super different in a bunch of aspects. For example, when it comes to the to the node system, uh, when it comes and to the open source a uh, fact so yes it's like a way of adapting to good doubt philosophy and well this isn't all the best piece the best piece of advice i can give to those moving from unity to good doubt is you have to imagine good doubt scene tree as a tree of components without entities this has two quirks it's much cleaner to understand scenes at a glance composition is far more flexible i will hear uh, he attached um, a screenshot with how you would organize a scene in goodout as you can see it's quite um, more different than we would do it in unity why because in unity as you can see here this is a character and well in unity we will have just one game object maybe with a rigid body a sprite a collision shape and uh, an animator and well of course two more scripts so there we have other advice and other facts to consider when switching to Goodot. these conceptual differences are what helps most Goodot users be so productive you most likely notice how Goodot entries even from users who did not have as much experience using the engine one in the past major game jumps this year. So again, please take your time making the move and understand Goodot philosophy well before porting a project, before trying to convert your game 1-1 one, one from Unity. The least I would wish for is Unity users getting burned and having bad experience from trying to do things that well, that way, sorry. So yeah, basically in this Twitter is pretty obvious what Juan wants to avoid. As far as I can understand, personally, I believe what Juan is trying to do here by doing this post is that as a lot of people is at least uh, trying out Goodout, uh, he doesn't want people who's trying out Goodout for the first time, he doesn't want to uh, that people not to understand the engine and say uh, that Goodout isn't a good engine or that the node system is not good, etc. Overall, he wants that everybody, uh, even more uh, Unity users, have a good experience using Goodout. Then the next topic we're gonna be talking about is why here uh, Juan says, why does GDScript exist? This is a very important topic because as you may already know, Goodout also supports C Sharp. And well, if Goodout supports C Sharp, why does GDScript 
exist. And well, here Juan says, there are two main reasons why in the context of Goodjot is the preferred choice by users. Firstly, the fast iteration and secondly, the deep integration. Why this is very important again from people who is migrating to Goodjot from Unity? Because well, they may want to use C Sharp as they have already have some experience in C Sharp. But well, here Juan is like encouraging these Unity users to actually use GD Script. And here he also says, to sum up, Goodjot users prefer to use GD Script because of this deep level of just works integration tailored to the engine. Think Blueprint in Unreal, but you can code. So it's not that Goodjot intends to make C Sharp a second class citizen. C Sharp is integrated as well as it can be. Ultimately, the reason why GD Script will remain the preferred way by users to use Goodjot is because it's a premium experience that can only be achieved by tailoring the language to Goodjot. And I couldn't agree more with Juan, because uh, if you have already programmed something, it doesn't matter if it is too complex or too simple, you will completely understand this statement. The feeling of programming and creating stuff with GD Script is just very, very unique and different from any other programming language, of course. But it's different and unique, um, like in a very good way, because everything is just too easy to understand and to read. That, as here it says, it's a premium experience that can only be achieved by tailoring the language to Goodjot. So, which is basically the message here, I believe, that if you're a Unity developer, you haven't ever tried GD Script. And of course, if you are a Unity developer, it means that you have some hands-on experience um, in C Sharp. Here, Juan encourage, encourages you to try out GD Script in order to have again this premium experience that he's talking about. So, what I would say here you should do is just try out GD Script. If you like it, you can stick to it, or if not, you can just use C Sharp. There isn't much problem about that. Also, we can see here other tweets. Seeing lots of comments the past days suggesting Goodjot should only support C Sharp and not several languages like now. I fully understand the benefits on standardizing in a language, but to me, freedom of choice is far more important than any of that. Just incredible, because, for example, if now Goodjot uh, would only allow you to use C Sharp, what would happen with developers? Uh, that have been using GD Script and don't know anything about C Sharp. It would be, of course, a very tough situation. In addition to this, I would like to say um, or to talk about other topic that I believe is very interesting and that if you are a Unity developer um, now that you want to try out Goodjot, this could really help you out. For those interested, there are uh, threads and even a dedicated Discord channel, Unity Onboarding Help, to help new users make the switch and Goodjot community is doing its very best, so no questions remains un unanswered. So here, if you go to the official server, uh, we can see that indeed we have here uh, the channel. As you can see, there are a bunch of messages, there have been a lot of conversations here. Uh, and well, as you can see, the community is just incredible. Uh, they are texting a lot, they are uh, answering questions and that kind of stuff. So definitely, if you are um, having some questions about transitioning from Unity to Goodjot, definitely there, this is a very good place where uh, you can start um, asking for some help. And well, now finally, which is the uh, future plan of uh, Goodjot and which are their uh, biggest priorities. Well, here Juan again says, after three very stressful days, guess I can sum the three biggest priorities for Goodjot to work on in order to allow Unity users to migrate as best as possible. Of course, they are intelligent, let's say they know that Unity is in a very like vulnerable place right now and well of course he wants to take advantage of that and that's perfectly fine. So here we have the future plan, the uh, biggest priorities. Firstly, C-Sharp support in all platforms. Again, 
This is to encourage Unity developers to um, to be able to program in the same programming language they know, so they don't have to learn a new programming language from scratch. And then he would also like to add an asset store for those who make assets. So again, artists will be able uh, to publish their stuff there and the support for consoles. Because yes, one of the main advantages of using Unity or Unreal um, is that as they aren't open source, you could uh, export for consoles. But with Jota, as it is open source, you don't have like the license to do so. And well, here also we see some explanations or reasons or more information about this post. Because, for example, um, firstly, thanks to the foundation uh, they have recently created, now uh, they can actually um, support an asset store and then as i told you console is not possible but w4 games um, is on it so this means that actually good possibly in a near future is gonna support consoles okay so basically this is all about uh, the future plan of good all the new stuff that we have from juan one of good creators so what do you think about this topic? Leave your opinion in the comments down below. See you in the next one and bye bye.